All right, this is not my normal automotive videos, uh, but stuff around the house has to get done and you have to balance the time between the two. What I'm doing here is obviously removing the paint, this 20 year old paint, or who knows how long this paint's been on this deck. And the person who owned the house beforehand painted over the paint without prepping the wood leads me that I have to sand everything down to the bare minimum and they use that deck over stuff, that, that crappy uh, textured shit that just gets everywhere and it's just nasty stuff. So I did the basic stuff. Rented a drum sander, have a regular sanders and you know like a, a belt sanders and all that kind of stuff and just couldn't get the stuff off on a timely manner. Just breaking my back on this big deck back here. Came across this product and I'm not sponsored by this product. I'm not selling this product. I'm not doing anything. I'm just giving the word out to people who are doing in the same situation that I'm in. And it's called Dima Brush. Restores, uh, restored deck and wood siding, removes and preps in one simple step. And man, this is phenomenal. They're pricey, don't get me wrong. They're like $50 a disc and I've gone through two of them already and not the fault of the tool but the fault of me because this deck doesn't have nails in it it has old wood screws that weren't properly countersunk so i would go over it with the tool and, and rip it apart but it did a, a a sizable chunk of the deck without a problem and you can see i wore it down and went out and bought another one so even at the price tag of over $50 or $49 or whatever the hell it is, $100 bucks to save probably three days worth of working. But yeah, I'm going to show you this in action. And, well, hold on a minute. Let me take it out of the box. It is a cool... And this is versus, you know, those floppy disks. Something like this. The Diablo Steel Demon. This does a great job of removing paint without harming the deck, but it just takes a long time. And if you have like a, just, I know this is great when you're going around nails and everything because it'll grind down the nails or the, uh, the screws that are popping through the deck. But this is the piece that you want. This has, I guess, a diamond impregnated blades here. And this thing took a beating and it took a beating and it, it just kept on, Kept on going, so enough of me talking. Let me uh, finish up the rest of the deck and I'll give you like a time lapse of how this thing works. Oh yeah, very simple. There you go. Very simple. Take the old disc off. It's a standard screw for any angle grinder. I don't have the protective shield on here and everything like that. I would recommend it if you're not used to using these. All right, let's get to work. This wheel did such a nice job.
Now it does leave some swirl marks, but you're gonna have to sand down to 120 grit anyway, but this is almost prepped and ready to go. And like with most decks of this age, you're gonna have boards that have been replaced versus the old boards. Um, just like you can see here, this is some of the newer boards that the paint adhered to, that deck over, that uh, bare deck over, which I believe is, uh, it's, it's an okay product, compared to like some of the older boards, which we have to sand down a little bit more. New board, old board. And you can see some of the swirl marks on the tool, but again, 120 grit sandpaper will take that out and we'll go into that in another video. But I just want to show you initially, this is just a first pass. This saved me hours and hours and hours. Some people use these uh, these polishing flap discs. They're good for old decks that have screws like this. You can actually come in and blend it in, but you gotta be really careful not to dig into the wood. And using discs like this versus a disc like this is that it does not get clogged. It doesn't burn the paint. It actually just takes it off. What a great product. And they do sell commercial versions of this where they have actually it to a machine, a big sanding machine for like home and for really large projects. But for, you know, home DIY guys, this disc, this throwaway disc is perfect at 50 bucks a pop. <laughs> I don't know if that's perfect, but yeah. Still got a lot of work. This is what's left over of a tent from the winter. Don't even waste your money on tents like that. But we still gotta do all the railings. Replace a couple of panels and decide what we're gonna use on the deck. That'll be coming in later videos.